All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we've got some info um, that's been coming out the last couple days, and I had it recommended to me to maybe cover this, thought about it, and it's like, hmm, I think we should. I think we should talk about this. So Daima, Dragon Ball Daima, um, is going to get its first episode on October 11th, uh, and then every Friday at 11.30. 40 Japan time. So for me, that's going to be in the morning. It's going to be in the mornings that the episode is actually going to play. Like, I don't know. What is that going to be? Like 9.40 a.m. or something like that? Um, I, I mean, it depends. Stupid daylight savings and shit like that. But I think like right now, that would be 9.40 a.m. for me um, when uh, the episode will actually be playing. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. First episode will be expanded by 11 minutes. Now, uh, I did this. I go, ooh, that's good news, obviously. By the way, Sparking Zero coming out. Basically, it's the same day, too, right? So that's going to be fire. We're going to have Sparking Zero. We're going to have Daima. Um, but that's not all. <laughs> so, it's a day to download on the 11th, which, I mean, that's... I, for me, I think about this, and it's like, damn, I... Like, if it's a data download night, how am I going to get into Sparking, bro? Like, I... Bro, it's too much going on. We got Project Multi. All of a sudden, Dragon Ball were eating like crazy. Um, we had confirmation recently, too, that uh, Toyotaro was going to be continuing the Dragon Ball Super manga. The Dragon Ball Super manga is not done, which is good. I mean, I a lot of people go, oh, my God, we're going to be snobby. We're putting our nose up in the air and say, Dragon Ball Super is so bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, guess who doesn't give a shit? Me. Okay. UI Goku with the horns blaring and the gods standing up, standing on top of the Eternal Power stage. Uh, yeah, that's fire to me, right? Uh, Beast Gohan just standing there like a god. That's fire. Broly and Gogeta swapping hands. That's fire. I, I love Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> I will never. Dragon Ball Super to me is fire. Please let that continue. So, but now we got Dragon Ball Daima coming as well. And, I mean, I, I'm just going to tell you guys flatly, I do think we're probably going to be getting Daima characters at very soon to the release of this. I, I like, I, okay, so I, here, 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 let's then also go to this. Um, so we've got a schedule here, October 6th. Uh, okay, okay. You know why this is so relevant, actually? So, okay. We're going to have the part two LRs for the Broly movie celebration, worldwide download celebration thing. That's going to be, I believe the part two LRs on the 13th. So next Friday is when we're going to be seeing them. The next Dokkan Fest, right? I was expecting to be on like the third, I think. Then, typically, October has a Part 2 LR. Now, two years ago, remember the Part 2 LR was not a Part 2 LR. It was Dokkan Fest Gamma 1 and 2. Uh, last year, the Part 2 LR was Giant Ribrian, Rosie and Kakunsa. Uh, back one more page. No, one more page. What day were they? The 19th. Okay. I I mean, damn. I Okay, so remember, by the way, this is Global and JP at the same time, by the way. So, I mean, I could see a Dokkan Fest on the 3rd. And a Dokkan Fest on the 11th, Daima. I, I do think so. I Like, okay, way back in the day when Dragon Ball Super was airing, like, it's like shit would get nuts. Right, like there was a like a three Dokkan Fest month, right? Or it was a ton of Dokkan Fest in a very short amount of time. Like when UI Goku dropped. Angel Golden Frieza, STR Ultimate Gohan, UI Goku, all these characters dropped very close together. I, I should fact check this. Let me pull them up. And then there was also Super Vegito. Like those four Dokkan Fests were in like a 50 day window or something like that. All right, guys, I got the characters pulled up, but I didn't look at the dates yet. Let's find out together. So, 
STR Ultimate Gohan came out on September 1st of 2017. I remember vividly because the release right before this was physical LR trunks. I remember I was, I just got out of the car at the store, I think, when they tweeted physical LR trunks, I think. Uh, then we have Angel Golden Freeze was on the 29th of September. Okay. Um, then we had In UI Goku, who was October 8th. Vegito was the 31st. And then Bardock was November 30th. So we did have four Dokkan Fests between September and October. That's, that's huge. Because as like the anime was going on, I, they're just like throwing the shit out quick. I, now, Superhero was a little bit different. And, I mean, I have done my best to kind of talk through the side of my mouth and explain to you guys that uh, there was no heads up for Superhero. Uh, just period, end of story. It was, that's it, okay? Uh, Dime is different. So, um, I do anticipate that we're going to... By the way, I follow... What? It's, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm following. It's just a stupid... Remember, Twitter sucks now, unfortunately. Yeah, X sucks. I am following Air, obviously. Um... What was the other thing I was going to say? Okay, so I do think we could see um, Dokkan Fest on like the 3rd or 4th, and then Dokkan Fest on the 11th. So let's take a look. So we got the world premiere of the Dragon Ball Daima first episode. Uh, info on Daima content for Dokkan, Legends, Sparking Zero, and the other games. Uh, yep, Daima, DLC, all the good stuff. Damn, this, this is going to be so far. All right, so uh, Daima first screening. Okay. Then we have the Sparking Zero event stage. Now, remember, this is right before the game is going to come out. I wonder, do we think that there's a possibility that maybe this is like a... Could they reveal like a new character? Well, I guess I guess the characters they show is probably Diamond characters, right? Dragon Ball Super Divers. Okay, yeah, it's not Heroes anymore. Uh, Dragon Ball Diamond again. The card game. Dokkan and Legends. So there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's on the 6th. So 17 is... uh, Hold on. Yeah, 17 is 5 p.m. That means that this is going to be like a 3 a.m. Uh, like like a 3 a.m. reveal or something like that for, for us over here. Okay. Okay. Um, sure. I mean, that's, that's just kind of like the typical time, right? Like we've seen like the, the heroes live streams and stuff like that, um, are typically at that time. Yeah. Very interesting, man. Okay. So, so there it is. Um, we're very likely to just straight up get a reveal for Dima characters. And I mean, I'm, this is gonna happen for legends too. Legends is very shortly after that going to be getting ready to head into legends fest. So, we'll see how much Daima content is going to be coming to Dokkan and Legends, like, right away as it's airing and stuff like that. Um, I pulled this up. Just, I, I assume that this had a nice bit of info and stuff like that. The thing is that a lot of the characters... Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Th th this is what I was looking for. It's, but it's, I can't click it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so, I mean, I, mean, I assume we're going to see a lot of different characters and stuff like that coming. Uh, now... All the characters get kind of like, I don't know, miniaturized or something like that. Uh, I did want to point out... Wait, I had it pulled up. Did I accidentally... Huh. I had it pulled up. I must have closed it at some point. I was going to use this guy right here. So keep in mind that GT Goku, um, you know, is adult Goku after the Buu Saga, who gets turned back into his kid body um, through the power of the Dragon Balls. But remember, he is not on the youth category. So, just wanted to throw that out. I guess it's very possible we could maybe see, like, a Daima category or something like that. I don't think that that would be a terrible idea. Uh, it also means in the Dragon Ball story section, we'll eventually get uh, the Dragon Ball Daima section. Although, we still have never gotten uh, Dragon Ball Super um, Dragon Ball story, right, in that event section. Every time I mention something, I want to now pull it up. Hold on. So, of course, I'm talking about this. Uh, we still have not done Dragon Ball Super. We have done both Battle of Gods and Resurrection F, but those are the movie ones. So, I don't know. Maybe they they just wanted to do, 
Battle of Gods and Resurrection F first before starting Dragon Ball Super, and then they will start with Universe 6 vs. 7. I guess that would make a lot of sense, because the movies, they're kind of just throwing out in any order, they don't care, but the actual series are going in order, right? Like, for Dragon Ball Z, we just finished the Frieza saga. For Dragon Ball, we just finished... So, so the next one will be the Android Sassel saga when Trunks shows up. For Dragon Ball, we just finished Fortune Teller Baba's saga. So the next Dragon Ball story is going to be the 22nd World Tournament, which is Goku vs. Tien. Um, and then for Dragon Ball GT, we are up to Baby's ar like arrival on Earth. And the next one is going to be the finale, uh, the, the battle between Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Baby on... Um, Planet Tuffle or Planet Plant or whatever it is. So, yeah, th those will be coming. And I guess maybe for Dragon Ball Super, again, since they go in order only, uh, they might have been waiting um, for Resurrection F and Battle of Gods to actually happen first. Okay, sure, sure, sure. So, let me know what you guys think. Daima, um, I... <clears throat> I think... We'll be seeing Daima characters in October. Um, let me know what you guys think about Daima showing up. I'm excited. I mean, regardless, I mean, you know, like, we get a lot of characters who are, like, super hyped. Like, oh, yeah, that's great. Awesome. But, you know, there is something to be said about something that's completely fresh. I feel like Daima is kind of, like, lukewarm right now. But I'm going to bet that once it's airing and it's pure flames, people are going to love it. And they're going to love the characters and Dokkan and Legends and Sparking Zero and stuff like that. So uh, let me know what you guys think. And I'll catch you all next time.